Welcome to yet another adventure. Today we will be traveling to Rize, a city located in the Eastern Black Sea region of Turkey. I'm in love with this city, that's why I always come here whenever I have the chance. And now I will give you a few reasons to come to this city as well. If you're ready, let's go to Rize. Good morning from beautiful Rize. In this video we are exploring the beautiful places of Rize. Uh, we, right now we are in Aider Plateau uh, and we just left our hotel which is called Doha Resort in Aider. And now we are heading to Chad Valley and we are going to be uh, seeing some cool places. If you are ready, let's go. Now we arrived in our first location, it's called Zil Kassel and I think it's one of my favorite places here. Whenever I come here, I always stop by and enjoy the view here. If you ever come here, definitely don't miss this place out and enjoy your view. We just passed Zil Kale and following that road, in about 15 minutes you reach this place. Now we are in Hollywood Waterfalls. This is the panoramic view of the place, but now we're gonna get closer, so let's go. Now we got really close. After entering this beautiful waterfall, we head out to our bungalow to get some rest. Now we arrived in the bungalow that we're gonna be staying. It's called Bungi Bungalows. <laughs> this is the place we're gonna be staying today. Looks amazing. In the morning, I'm gonna show you a beautiful view from here. Today we have a beautiful day, so now we are heading out to show you some cool places. See you on the road. Right now, we arrived in one of my favorite places in Rize. It's called Elevit Plateau and it's actually pretty much like heaven. Uh, but not right now, I'll give you that. It looks still okay and beautiful, but if you come here in spring, it's amazing. Or in summer, doesn't matter. After all of it, we hit the road to see some amazing views before it got dark. As we were nearly in winter, the daytime were limited. But we enjoyed every bit of what we saw.
Good morning from Rize. We are still exploring Rize, and today uh, the first thing that we're gonna be doing is rafting. here <laughs> and now we are heading to the tea garden of Rize. I'm gonna show you a beautiful tea garden. If you're ready, let's go. And now we are walking to tea garden on this path. This is the tea garden that I'm talking about. This tea garden is actually made by one person. He's actually residing in this village and he's obsessed with symmetry. That's why he made this uh, tea garden look like this. He turned this place into a heaven, uh, a symmetry heaven actually, and made it look like something else. That's why a lot of tourists come here every year to take photos and videos of this place. <laughs> it's, it's really interesting to to know that one guy actually turned this village into a tourism destination. That's one of the examples of how one person can change a lot of things uh, in the place that they're actually living. Now we are actually heading out to a different place. So without further ado, let's go. Now we arrived in Hanjuzu Plateau and it's actually snowing <laughs> and it's all white here. Dips. <laughs> Another room. <laughs> if you're lucky, we will actually be seeing a sea of cloud in the morning. It's such a unique view of this place, and that happens only sometimes, <laughs> not always. But they said that we've been seeing that sea of clouds for the past few days, so we hope to catch that view for you in the morning. Uh, so let's try our luck and see if we can catch that sea of clouds. See in the morning. We will try our luck tomorrow as well. I'm not, not, I'm not just gonna let this place go because I know that it has a huge potential and it will look amazing. That's why I'm gonna be back and gonna stay one more night. Now I'm heading to somewhere else, but I'll be back soon. See you on the road. Now we are at a bagpipe house and here one family manufactures bagpipes. We have a master here, his name is Engin. This is their workshop and they do everything in here and then now they're gonna show me how they do it and uh, I'm gonna show you the process. And by the way, bagpipes are actually the local instruments of Rize. They're very, very famous here. They play bagpipes at weddings, ceremonies, Pretty much everywhere where they want to dance. <laughs> His mother does the sewing of bagpipes. His father carves the woods into pipes. And he does the rest of the work. So I asked him, how long does it take for you to, to make just one bagpipe 
you know, just ready to play. And he says it's around 20 days. So just one bagpipe, handmade bagpipe, takes around 20 days. And he has been manufacturing bagpipes for the past 12 years. So before you actually learn how to play bagpipes, there are some small instruments just like this one. You can actually practice with them. So now I'm gonna take one of them and practice later on. Now I'm gonna try it. <laughs> this practice bagpipe is actually called Chibun. It's the local name. So I'm gonna be practicing with this one. I don't look very promising, but I hope I can play some. <laughs> Having heard the story of bagpipes, we head back to Handuzu Plateau to try our luck for the sunrise. Now we are back at Handuzu Plateau and it's still foggy but I still have high hopes for the morning. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Well, good morning. <laughs> You can see the views. It's, it's just amazing, you know. If you ever come here, you have a chance to have a breakfast over the clouds. So, I would say it's a pretty awesome thing. <laughs> and here's my gang that made this video possible. And we have come to the end of our video. I hope you liked the video and read it. But this is only a small piece of what I could show you. I would recommend you to come here and enjoy it for yourself. And by the way, if you liked the video, please subscribe, like and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. See you.